everybody welcome back to my channel today so I'm going straight in and priming the eyelids today using the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade 0.5 and first just carving out underneath the eyebrow with a sharp line and then breaking, making sure all that product brought down all over the lid always doing down side of the nose and winging it out slightly then I'm just grabbing back over top with a sort of thinner second layer but this time just using pattern motions instead just to set the base down slightly and make it nice and tacky ready for our eyeshadows. Then as always, once I'm happy with how the base is looking, I'm going in with my fluffy brush just to blend off those edges and give it one last little pat over before we start with eyeshadows. So all of the eyeshadows I'm using for this look today are coming from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm using the shade Buns firstly, just packing that on all through the crease. And I must apologise at this point because when I sat down to start editing this video, I realised I'd completely dipped my head out of frame for the majority of this blending part. So it might look a bit weird and choppy and I am so so sorry. There was a lot more to it but I had to cut loads of it out because you couldn't see anything. So I've just packed that shade on all through the crease. I'm not too fussed about bringing it down to the inner corner because we're going to blank that out later on. Then just to blend out that first shade, I'm taking the shade Puta on a fluffier blending brush. Just blending that line out and bringing it slightly higher up towards the brow bone, but not that you can see what I'm doing. Then just to deepen up the browns and the outer corner, I'm taking a mixture of the shade Mocha and Chip, just on a little fluffy blending brush and then taking the first brush we use just to blend those shades all together. Then just to add a final touch of depth to the outer corner, I'm taking the shade Central Park, which is the darkest brown in the entire palette, just to, on that outer corner and then taking the previous brush as well to blend that together. So to blank out those inner corners, I'm taking the NYX Gel Liner in white. First, I'm just popping that down all on the inner corner with a sort of flat concealer brush. Then I'm taking this little fluffy blending brush and just softening all those edges, just blending it out up towards the brow bone and sort of down slightly onto the underneath of the eye and then onto the lid as well, just to soften it all up. I would suggest if you were doing this as well, just take it one eye at a time because by the time I got to the second eye, the white gel liner sort of dried up a little bit. It does dry quite quick and can go a bit crackly, so just bear that in mind if you, do, if you are trying this look. So once I'm happy with the gel liner, I'm going to bring in the purple tones of the eye look. So I'm taking the brand new Barry M Holographic Eyeshadow Topper. And this is in the shade Stardust, this gorgeous purple shade. And I'm just putting that everywhere that we pop the white gel liner. And then again, going in with a fluffy blending brush just to blend out any harsh edges. Then to set the eyeshadow topper down and to add a bit more sparkle to the look, I'm taking the Peaches and Cream pigment in Fantasy, just this gorgeous purple reflex pigment. And I'm just putting that all over the eyeshadow topper and then dragging that slightly onto where we've put the, br put the brown shadows, just to give it more of like a fade out rather than just a sudden stop. To create the purple eyeliner underneath, I'm first taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, just running that all along the waterline. Then I'm setting that down with the shade Urban from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Just this gorgeous rich purple shade. And that'll give the illusion of some gorgeous bright purple eyeliner. I like to use this method because 
eyeliner doesn't sit in my waterline quite well because I've got really watery eyes so this just makes it easier for me. So I'm just popping on a bit of mascara and then I'm going to start filling in the underneath of the eye while I wait for my lashes to dry. So same again, I'm just taking the P. Louise eyeshadow base again just to prep the under eyes, making sure to get right up to that waterline. Then again, just blending out all the harsh edges. Then I'm just taking all the brown shades that we used on top of the eye, but in reverse order now. So I'm starting with the darkest, which was Central Park, making sure to connect that right round to what we've done on the top of the eye. Then blending that out with a bit of mocha and chip. And then again, blending a bit of buns and put it into it as well. So lashes are on and now it's time for the face. So to prime the face today I'm using the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter in the shade Unicorn Elixir which is this gorgeous liquid illuminator drops. It, it's got a lovely like purple reflect to it. I would say I do prefer the Iconic London drops because this one felt a little bit ch too chunky for my liking. Like I felt like I could feel the glitter in it but it still gave off a good, gorgeous purple tone so I didn't really mind. For foundation, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Porcelain. As always, I'm first going in with a flat foundation brush and just painting that foundation on all over the face just to build up my coverage until I'm happy with it. Hide them freckles. And as always, just leaving that space underneath the eye blank because we're going to put concealer there anyway. So I'm just buffing that all into the skin using my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. Once I'm happy with how that's looking, I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm just popping that in all the usual spots, so underneath of the eyes, the cupid's bow, through the centre of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose slightly and then the chin. And just taking the exact same Real Technique sponge just to buff that into the skin. And I like to leave the under eyes till the end because it lets them dry a little bit and it, they end up looking a little bit brighter. So blend the majority of that in with my sponge and then as I get closer to the eye I go in with my little fluffy brush again so I don't ruin any of the blend of my eyeshadows that I've already put down. So to cream contour I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in the shade 220 Toffee Caramel. Just popping that in all the usual spots again and then taking this Real Techniques brush just to blend it out, just in circular motions going back and forth along the line. Don't worry if it looks too harsh at the moment because I do go back in with my beauty blender and my brushes and everything just to soften it back up. It does look a bit crazy at first. So just going back in with the sponge still with a bit of foundation on it and just blending all those to get those lines in just patting it back if you've done too much as well to set the under eyes and a little bit around the nose i'm taking the kat von d locker locker translucent setting powder just on this sort of pointed contour brush and i'm just using that underneath the contour area as well just to sharpen that up and then just to blend off the end for bronzer, I'm taking the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Dark, just on this like angled contour brush. 
just in circular motions I'm just stippling that on all along the cheekbones the temples and along the jawline so pretty much everywhere we put the cream contour stick a bit earlier Then just to deepen up and add a touch more of contour, I'm taking the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Tan, just on a smaller brush and just focusing that right in those deep areas. And then just using it to add a touch of um, dimension back to my nose. So for highlighter, I'm taking the Doll Beauty Highlighter in the shade Shine Bright and just using this Real Techniques setting brush popping that everywhere just look at the highlighter this is my absolute favorite highlighter i've ever used it's so glowy and just gorgeous i'm just popping that in all the usual spots so on the cheekbones the nose i am just slightly above the eyebrows and the cupid's bow and then just a slight touch on the chin For blush today, I'm taking the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, which is this gorgeous, it's got like a lovely sheen to it. I'm all about a, a glowy blush. Now it's time for brows, and I'm just brushing the hairs up into place with a spoolie, and then going right in with the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. Just to have a normally fill my eyebrows in, starting underneath the brown, creating that sharp line making it softer towards the front of the brow. Then just going in and doing the same thing on top. I do like a, a structured brow on myself. I don't really have the hair or the brows to do more of a fluffy brow. So I like to create the structure. So the same straight line on the top, making sure to curve that round and connect it to the tail we've drawn. Then just softening the product up through the front of the brow so it's not too harsh and blocky. Then just repeating those steps onto the other brow to match them up. Well, try and match them up because eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Then to set them in place, I'm taking the NYX Tinted Brown Mascara in black. So I felt like going for something different on my lips today because every video I've done lately, I've done a nude lip. So I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade O Put It On. Just this gorgeous, intense purple liquid lipstick. Then once I'm happy with that, I'm taking the brand new NYX Duo Chromatic Lip Gloss in the shade Crushing It. Just this gorgeous, look it just matches the eyes perfectly on top. Just placing that on to give more of a metallic finish. And that is the finished look today, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. And thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!